Dr. Julie T. Ane Zeg. Uh, she is from a new beginning and outpatient treatment center in Scottsdale. She's joining us this morning. Uh, the biggest thing here is eating disorders are actually preventable. Good morning to you. By the way, you go by Dr. Jazz. So we appreciate you uh, joining us this morning. I was telling you that I have a teenage daughter at home, so this really it hits home for me. Uh, but I'm not going to lie. I was surprised to hear the statement that we as parents even as uh, it, with our teenagers have more influence than social media? <laughs> we have the most influence out of anything. Social media, our appearance-based culture, um, even the craziness of dieting in our world, parents have the most influence over whether or not a child develops an eating disorder or not. You know, I want to start um, uh, from the basic building blocks here because you say that eating disorders are not about food and yeah. weight, which uh, it, it sounds very surprising, but help me understand. Absolutely. It is so easy to think that eating disorders are about food, about body, about weight, and we focus on the symptom. But at the core, eating disorders, believe it or not, are about your relationship with your emotions mm. and about your relationship with yourself. How so? Okay. So when we are able to identify what our emotions are and we are able to then respond to those emotions in a positive, validating and self-soothing way, guess what? We don't have to turn to food. To soothe. To, to soothe, to manage, to comfort, to try to get a sense of control in our world. Mm -hmm. Now this is really, really true. This happens on an unconscious basis. And the more we can learn how to connect and manage our emotions, the less our psyche turns to food. So how is body image connected to our psyche specifically? Well, body image in our culture and in our world, right, is unfortunately related to a woman and also men's view of self as positive mm -hmm. or not or worthwhile. Mm -hmm. I hate saying that, yeah. but that's absolutely true. So everyone wants to feel good about themselves. If they don't feel good about themselves, you're going to desperately seek a way mm -hmm. to get a sense of value, right, mm -hmm. and self-worth. Unfortunately, in our world, the default setting is through what does my body look like? What is my weight? You know, you give us uh, several really great tips to really arm our kids in mm -hmm. this particular area. One thing you said uh, that I found particularly poignant is helping your kids understand um, or not associating their emotions with negative or positive. Can you explain that? Absolutely. First of all, we develop an emotional template early on in life early and a parent is going to be that most influential person. So how we respond to our children's emotions and also our emotions mm -hmm. is going to help them ultimately internalize that and how they're going to respond through their life. So if I'm sad and I'm told don't cry and I stuff that emotion, mm. I'm going to try to comfort myself somehow. Sure. Right? If I'm angry and you say that's bad mm -hmm. for girls to express anger, go in your room, come back out when you can be nice, where's that emotion going to go? Mm. Okay? Crunchy chips later at night. Got All it. right? That's how this works. So if we learn no emotion is good or bad, they just are, uh -huh. how to connect and soothe, right, express those emotions, then we learn how to do that directly and not through the use of food or manipulation of our body. I would imagine also that setting the example is so important in this area as well. What would you say are the most important things that parents can do to set that example so that our kids walk down a healthy path? So many things, and yeah. we're going to talk about this over time in this parenting series. The first thing is we are the ultimate role model. Mm. You have to look at what is your relationship with your body, yourself, your emotions. We also have to look at dieting, right? Yeah. If you're modeling a constant awareness of body weight and you're dieting, guess what? Our children are going to look at that, and that's a setup for disorder. Yeah. Okay. So, so many things. This is actually going to be a four-part series, which yeah. I'm thrilled about. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll be able to talk about body and food and weight and then today, emotions. If people want to find out more information yeah. about all we're talking about here, where, where can they learn Absolutely. So we have a YouTube channel through A New Beginning. Okay. okay so you can look that up. Um, we've got social media that we're starting to really put out. Um, Dr. Julie Tiane is my Instagram. Okay. And uh, it's just the beginning 
dialogue, there's got to be a lot more yeah. information out there. Agreed. Yeah. Dr. Jazz, thank you so much. <laughs> As a mother of a teenage girl, I really appreciate you being passionate about this and putting this information out, so thank I you. I have goosebumps because I have two girls myself, ah, so I well, completely understand. We need to band together, don't yes, we? Yes, absolutely. The good fight. Thank, thank you, you so much for having me.